morning. Uh, could you speak to uh, just the, uh, the way uh, Tanner Lee has grasped, grasped onto the leadership of this team in such short order? Uh, you know, he he came in, uh, you know, willing to do whatever for the team, you know, and kind of just do his job and his part and everything. I think everybody kind of just gravitated to that for the most part. I mean, um, he did what was asked of him as, as everybody. And, uh, I mean, he's just he's just one of the guys you kind of just to do that you just gravitate towards, really, for the most part. What type of opportunity do you have now in this offense with him? And, and there's not a lot of depth at receiver, so you're probably going to play a lot more snaps than you've ever played before. I mean, Look at the big picture of this year. Uh, what could it mean to you individually? I mean, just looking to the year, I mean, it's another start of football. So I mean, I mean, that's 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 what it means to me. Just playing again, just getting out there, um, playing for, playing with the N on my helmet for the most part. Um, it's it's an exciting year. It's a, it's a big year. Um, a lot of people have gone, you know, and just it's time for people to step up. You're almost you're a veteran receiver, I guess you could call it. So a different quarterback going from Tommy now to Tanner. How different? How different is it between the two? You having to relearn Tanner? <laughs> um, you know, I mean, it's 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 a typical new quarterback thing for the most part. Really, I mean, you just have to build chemistry for the most part. Um, they're they're two different guys, two different styles. But I mean, you know, it's it's still a, a, an adaption to it. Um, it still takes time. I mean, you just have to work those long hours uh, on the field uh, to build that bond and communication, and, and knowing that each other will have each other's back. So I mean, it's just it's just about building that for the most part. Coach Riley said Scott Booker has injected a lot of energy into the special teams room. Do you feel that? Uh, absolutely. I mean, I think if you're out there, period, and you catch him in uh, one of the special teams, period, I mean, you can see it. But, uh, I mean, he brings a lot of energy to to the field, um, whether that's with the defense or special teams, either or. I mean, that's just the type of guy he is. He did get a lot of good returns last year as far as his clean catches with opportunities. I mean, how big of a priority or emphasis will that be, you think, this year to – Increase his opportunities to you know where you had it as your freshman year. Uh, I mean, I, I think that's something that's gonna that's gonna uh, come with time and come with uh, Coach Booker's scheme for the most part. Um, it's just getting after it. I mean, uh, you gotta you have to want to be on the special teams and everything like that. And I think he has a group of guys out there who who want to be on there, and um, just everybody has to do their job, and uh, we'll see what happens. Mike Riley said a couple times this fall that he's felt like it's been a drama-free fall camp. What does that mean to you, and why would that be a good thing? Uh, I mean, I, I guess you can say kind of like off the, not too many off the field issues for the most part, um, not too many injuries for the most part. I think everybody has been uh, taken care of body wise. Um, it's kind of went smooth. It was just e easy coasting, easy sailing. Everybody showed up to work, uh, willing to do whatever they had to do to, to make things right. Last go around. My what? Your last go around. Say again. Uh, I can't hear you. <laughs> it's tough to believe, isn't it? I don't know what you're talking about, but <laughs> we'll go with that. Is there is there an added sense of urgency, though? Nah, not at all. You know, I mean, it's it comes and goes. You know, you you know you know it was coming, um, but you know you just enjoy your time. Um, I mean, it just do do what you can for the most part. I'm just going out there and have fun. Good morning. You've been asked this a million times. How do you feel? How healthy are you? What's it like right now? If I had a dollar for every time I got asked that question, I'd be a rich man. But um, no, nah, I, feel, I feel fine. I feel great. Um, my body's my body's feeling the best it's felt in a while. Um, I'm just out there ready to compete and just uh, you know just go off for the most part. After Chris Jones went down, what have you seen out of some of those young corners stepping up and how, how does it look like the competition? Uh, from the defense as a whole, I've seen everybody kind of step up for the most part, just not the corners. But um, uh, they have it on their mind. You know, it's something that they know that, that they have to do. Um, they're, take, they're perfecting their craft each and every day, asking questions of their coaches. Um, going through, we go through scenarios with each other, just how to how to defeat a, a cornerback better. They ask how to kind of stop a wide receiver for the most part. So we kind of just feed off each other. But, I mean, they're getting after it. They're working on their craft. They're doing the best that they can. I think a lot of people. people I, th I think a lot of people would be shocked. Um, that dif the defense is difficult. Um, but we've had we've had our our times with it in, in fall camp. Um, it's annoying, but I mean it's. It, I think I think people would be shocked actually, like what actually uh, what they can do. Um, and I'm actually excited for them because I think it'll be fun watching them uh, do what they do best. Yeah, I know it's tough to 
know what to expect in the opener from an opponent because they're going to throw new stuff at you. But from our, what you've seen of Arkansas State, well, what sticks out to you about their defense and the type of team you're going to see Saturday? Um, I mean, they, they they pressed pretty much like the whole game. So, I mean, obviously they have uh, tremendous trust in their their corners, um, their defensive unit uh, together and how they thrive and get after people. Obviously, they're, they're D-line heavily. I mean, for you to stay impressed like the whole game. So, um, pretty much like they're just really a uh, together unit and, and they get after it. They're going to come with their best best shot. And um, that's that's all you can really ask for. All-purpose wideout is a term that gets thrown around occasionally. Would you say that describes your game more now than it ever has? I guess you can say that. I mean, I really don't pay attention to it. That's something everybody else say. I, I just focus on playing the game. Conversely, how does the dynamic aspect of your offense help the defense people train better be prepared more for the games? Um, our de uh, our offense, uh, we have uh, it's a lot um, shifts, motions, uh, certain pass routes. Um, we, I mean, we can pretty much like do whatever. It's a, it's a lot, um, and it, it requires the defense to kind of be in a stress in a, a certain different areas, like in the field or whatever. So I mean, it's just it, they they see a lot at practice, and uh, we practice certain stuff that 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 they kind of get good at that they may have thought it was a weakness um, or something that they kind of seen throughout fall camp. So you know, they're kind of we give them a look that pretty much they can probably see just a little bit of everything at practice. All right. Thanks, How does the ball come out nowadays? I mean, okay. so when you're running, I'm sorry, when you're running passes, I mean, do you notice a, a huge difference in how quickly that ball comes out, and, and you guys have to react now? Uh, I mean, we, we've seen a, a similar release with Riker. I mean, Riker has, has a pretty quick release, so, I mean, it, it's it's pretty close to that. So, I mean, it's something we've had time since the spring to get it used to. So, I mean, I'm used to it now.